everyone, and welcome into the show. My name's Phil, and I am here, as always, with my co-host, Luke. What's up, Shaft Heads? How you doing? This is the Shaft Cast. <laughs> it's a, it's cut a that. podcast. No, what? <laughs> Cut that. This is the Shaft Cast. It's a podcast all about video games, <laughs> sorry, movies, and sorry. TV. <laughs> With a little bit of drinking on the side, that's right, we will be drinking. So, if you're Hell of yeah. age, join us at home. If you're and over age. The, if you're over age. <laughs> Not of if age. If you're over the drinking age. <laughs> You're over I, the legal. I, I wanted you to like. Age. I want. I want like 80s and 90 year olds to like join us. You know. Yeah. If, yeah. Let's get them drinking again. This is, this is right up their demographic. This podcast. Right. So I think. Yeah. Uh, I've looked at our demo. Yeah, and it's mostly the elderly. Us? Us it's the elderly. elderly. Okay. They love us. <laughs> they think Shaft stands for like sleepy, Senile sleepy home. headaches. Sleepy headaches. What? I don't know. Sleepy headaches. I fuck. love a good sleepy headache about now. <laughs> Speaking of senile, uh, our guest today <laughs> is not. Uh, his name is Ben. Nice. He's been nice. here before. How you doing, Ben? Yeah, um, I'm. I'm good. This is third time. Third and a half time. Third and a half. Count the time, time that didn't happen. Half time and, doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Fellow, fellow Shaft head, yeah. ready to shaft the cast. Yeah, right. Veteran or something. Um, well, today on the show, we have Shot of the Week, of course. We'll take requests from you guys. Woo! Except for me, because I requested, and they didn't do it. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to on. it. Why didn't we do it when you were on? <laughs> this should have been the time we did it. Yeah, I bought the ingredients to do it. Next but time. I just made the drink. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So we'll take requests. We might not do it. Oh, uh, shit. Then, uh, well, then we have I quiz <laughs> my pants. Uh, we'll find a random quiz online. Wrong answers give you drinks. We have critically ashamed, where we will be choosing random movies. I'm reading. We have Good critically reading. ashamed, which we'll we'll be choosing random movies and guessing what they're rated on Rotten Tomatoes via the audience, according to the audience. According the to critics. the audience. And then fuck we have the Bye Borrow Barry. Try right. rendition of Fuck Mary Kill. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Jazz ready I love it. I'm ready. Ready and already started. Well, let's do it. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's do more of it. This week's shot of the week is... The cum shot! Oh, yum. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure it's spelled C O M E. I think it's okay. just like a come over here and take this shot. That's right. That's it's it. Just shorthand for that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's in it? What's in it is a rum chata, mm. which just so happens to be like white and creamy um, for no reason. For um, no reason. And then Yummy. fireball. So. Other people might know this by other names because I feel like this is a pretty common uh, combination. It's I mean it's it's yeah. just cinnamon with more cinnamon in it. Well, isn't, <laughs> it isn't, isn't it like cream? cinnamon toast shot? I'm Something. sure there's yeah. a cinnamon toast shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm um, pretty sure this is pretty much it. So, but uh, it's always good. I've had it. I'm before. gonna do I'm gonna do a pretty big one because both of these are like kind of weak. You know, they're yeah, not they're not the strongest else. things. Well, I thought Fireball. I mean, thirty-three. Yeah, Fireball's thirty-three. Right. What's Rumchata? Rumchata's thirteen. <laughs> That's water. Maybe this is already <laughs> thing. <laughs> but I'm gonna do the Irish coffee creamer shot. Oh, okay. Oh. What, is, what is that one? Jameson. A coffee liqueur. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And then similar to Bailey's, but Michael's. Oh, uh, Michael's. So, Bailey's is okay. so expensive, dude. Yeah, this was 12 bucks on sale. Nice yeah. score. That's good. Oh, you're just taking a glass of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm going to measure it out a bit. <laughs> okay. And you're just going to drink it. That's going to be your drink for the for the cast, huh? 
No, I've got a side side. Oh, I got a side hustle. Oh yeah. Uh, Speaking of which, I think we skipped something. No. Oh yeah, we did because we did this before the shot. Hey guys, drinking. That's okay. It can come whenever the fuck we want it to come. Yeah. Just like like just like our shot. (laughs) shot. So today I went to my local. I don't know why I would just like local like. I just I I go to different ones every now and then. Far away every every now and then. (laughs) I went outside of town searching. So at my close to home place, they Uh were out of. Well, they had steel reserves, but it was always or already ones that I've had before. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I kept looking in the big can section, and so I went with a Smirnoff Red, White, and Berry. Very nice. Because I love the Red, White, and Berry vodka. That they make. So I was like, it well, shit. Good. They make like a seltzer of it. I'm going to daddy like. Right. Wasn't the red, white, and berry vodka um, in the fruit bowl that you made? That you, you made up the shot, the fruit bowl with all those different it was. fruity. It things. was. Yeah. Because it was because it had like multiple fruits. Yeah. So. fruits. <laughs> yeah. I just actually had a craving for the margarita shot that Nick was talking about. Mm. So I just went with the good old. Classic margarita. Margarita. Beautiful. On the rocks. Right. Clairvo oh, mix. And then, I don't remember what, I got a decent tequila that was on sale, like 35 bucks a liter. So Oof. I couldn't tell you what it was Oof. called, but. Uh, big spender over here. You can't buy cheap tequila. Of, cheap, no. Cheap tequila. Cheap tequila. Cheap tequila. I'm a big fan of uh, El Jimador. It's, all, it's like El Jimador. El Jimador, yeah. Jimador. Yeah. I like, I like I, the I way you said that. I always call Because you're an idiot. Um, yeah, well, that's uh, true. true. I didn't realize that Simply Lemonade makes Simply Spike oh, Lemonade. Oh, so Simply. I was, I was in the big can section myself, Luke, and I was going to get a Steel Reserve just for you. <gasps> all they had was orange. And you knew I hated that one. And you knew I, uh, and I knew you hated that <laughs> I knew that I knew. You knew. I knew that you knew that I knew. So, Lemonade. Okay. So, how's that compared to, like, Mike's Hard? Uh, Similar. It actually smells sweeter than it is. It's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I would expect it, as as a Simply one, I would expect it to be, like, less artificially flavored. It tastes like Lemonade. Shit. All right. Well, nice. now that we got that over, you want to take a shot? <laughs> now that we <laughs> did that right in the right order the first time. Yeah, so this is... I, I made this big old boy. Jiminy. Cheers. Cheers. Shaft heads. Cheers. Ooh! That's tasty, though. It's Daddy very, loves very some uh, rum chata. I'll tell you what. That is good. It just makes everything better. Mm-hmm. But and yeah. the shoulders and fireball is good too, but it can be like a bit, bit intense on the cinnamon. So yeah, it just like cuts into that rum chata and mm. Mm, uh, chef's kiss. Mm-hmm. On that note, <laughs> you guys want to get into uh, some games? Oh, I love games. You know it. Because now we're gonna play. I quizzed my pants. Like the shot. I don't know what that was. We do. Today's quiz (laughs) is uh, it's called Plots and Performers 2. I'm skipping one. Yeah, fuck one. We heard heard bad things about one. Can you name the movie when given a short plot summary and some of its lead performers? Mm -hmm. I believe I can. Who knows? Okay, here it is. Who wants to go first? With, do you, uh, how about our guest? Okay. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, I'll read it out for the listeners at home. Uh, Leonard, I was going to say Leon, Leonard. Leonard. Leonardo. We know who he's thinking <laughs> Leonard, about, chaff heads. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Shelby is tracking down the man who raped and murdered his wife. Very uh, great. Uh, summary to start off the game 
The difficulty of locating his wife's killer, however, is compounded by the fact that he suffers from a rare, untreatable form of short-term memory loss. Although he can recall details of his life before his incident accident, Leonard cannot remember what happened 15 minutes ago, where he's going, or why. The cast members are Guy Pierce, Carrie Ann Moss, and Joe... Pantalones. What's that word? Pantalones. Uh, Pantoliano. 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 I think so. So Pant- hold on. This might. Is this going to be his? Because you haven't hit play oh. quiz yet. <sighs> You're fucking right, there. aren't you? I don't have a fucking clue. Good. So, it, uh, whatever this is, this? I hope it's not. You guys ready to play? <laughs> yeah! yeah all right for the first time ever <laughs> oh yeah it is this one okay so. uh, we'll just keep that we'll yeah. keep that all leonard right, shelby mm-hmm. raped and murdered his wife no he, he didn't, didn't. He man <laughs> down the man i have no idea should i know this do you guys i, I know b- it. we've talked about it on on the chef cast before i think it might have even be given as homework to somebody before Maybe. It was an early episode. Right. But if you haven't seen it, you can throw out any movie and we'll I'll type it in. Hopefully I'll spell it right. Guaranteed you won't. Oh, God. Let's just give you a hard one to spell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have no idea at all. I'm going to say me, myself, and Irene. Oh, that's it. That's it, for okay, sure. Okay, so I wonder if the commas need to be there. <laughs> Got oh, it. It's not me, myself, and Irene. So my turn. When renowned crime novelist Harlan Thromby is found dead at his estate just after his 85th birthday, the inquisitive <laughs> and debonair detective Benoit Blanc Okay, it has Daniel Craig. I'm not going to read the whole thing if I know it. This is you know Knives it. Out. You know it. It's Knives Out. Would you have known that one, uh, Ben? Yep. Good, good, good. All right. Lucas. Sorry. All right. Do you like being called Lucas, Luke? I don't mind it. Luke is better, yeah. though. I think we should start calling him Lucas. All right, Lucas in 2027. <laughs> In a chaotic world in which humans can no longer procreate, that means make babies. Oh, thank a you. A former activist agrees to help transport a miraculously pregnant woman to a sanctuary at sea where her child's birth may help scientists save the future of humankind. We have Clive Owen. We have Julianne Moore. We have Claire Hope Ashety. Nice. Nailed it. <laughs> Ashity. <laughs> children. God damn it. Shitty. Why am I, uh, I... I know it's children of... Children of men. Children it's, of men? Children of men. Alright. Do you want a space? I would. It is children of men. You are correct. I would not have gotten that. Alright, Ben. Loser! At a (laughs) night. Sorry. At a 1962 college. Whoa. Dean Vernon Warmer is determined to expel the entire Delta Tau Chi. Chi? (laughs) Fraternity. But those troublemakers have other plans for him. It's John Belushi. Tim Matheson. John Vernon. Verna Bloom. I'm just bad. (laughs) <laughs> at knowing things. That is true. Mm-hmm. All things, I'm just bad at knowing them. <laughs> I don't have a clue oh, again. Thanks. Do you know any John Belushi movies? Like back in the before he overdosed? I mean, I know him if you said them. Right. Well, it looks like you have to take a couple drinks can, and then I we can skip like, it. Yeah, I'm just going to drink. How's that? That sounds good. Drink for me. I'll take two because I didn't drink on. Do you know that version? one, Phil? I think I do. I think I do too, but I'm not positive. But I haven't seen the whole 
movie. I've seen snippets of it. Sure. Maybe. If it's the movie I'm thinking of. All right. <laughs> it's my turn. Three office workers strike back at their evil employers by hatching a hapless attempt to embezzle money. Ron Livingston. That helped me out. Jennifer Aniston, David Herman, whatever. This is... Uh-oh. What's that this last name? Is... AJ Naidu. <laughs> AJ Naidu. AJ? I wonder if it's like AJ. AJ? I don't know. AJ? No. Could be. What this is it, is, Phil? Um, office space. Ooh. Pulled it out of his ass. Good job. Good job. All right, Luke. <laughs> if you know it. Ruthless silver I know miner it. turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is it? It is the name of the movie is. Oh, are you stalling? Are you yeah, stalling? a little bit. Um, Maybe Phil should read it for our listeners. Ruthless, yeah, yeah just... ruthless silver miner turned oil prospector Daniel Plainview moves to oil rich california using his son to project a trustworthy family man image plainview cons local landowners into selling him their valuable properties for a pittance however <laughs> local preacher eli sunday sucks <laughs> sex plainview's motives and intentions starting a slow burning feud that threatens both their lives daniel day lewis paul dano your boy I know. God damn it. I I know there's what the movie scene, is. There's a scene in this movie where Daniel Day Lewis is just yelling at Paul Dano. I drink your milkshake. Yeah. What I drink it up. What is that? Blood? I, that, that, that shot of the week wiped all movie titles out of my brain. Just let, uh, let me know what you want me to uh, type in here. We're running on seven minutes. Shut up. Shut up. Let me know uh, um, how many drinks you're going to take. One per minute. Blood. Blood, blood, blood. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just going to take drinks. All right. That's a skip. He's taking drinks. Skipper. That's a skip. Ah. Whose turn is it? This is Ben. Back to a me. Ven- a ventriloquist is at the mercy of his vicious dummy while he t- uh, while he tries why that why would that word get me? While he <laughs> tries to renew a romance with his high school sweetheart. What? <sighs> Anthony Hopkins and Margaret. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, is Anthony Hopkins in a Chucky movie? I was gonna say right. Chucky was like a very, like child's play or whatever, but I don't a think it's that because dummy. Chucky was never a ventriloquist dummy. Right, he was just a children's doll. toy. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna say Chucky. It's not, but hey, what if it is? <laughs> what if it gives it to us? It's with no. a Y. It's with a Y, Phil. Jeez. Oh my God, is it? No, it's still not right. No. Nope. It just doesn't movie. even at least give me a fail. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like I know I'm wrong. <laughs> wrong. Alright, that's a that's a big old next for us. Big old next. That's zero for three for me. <laughs> Alright, this is me. The story of Oakland Yeah. The story of Oakland Athletics general manager Billy Bean's successful attempt to put together a baseball team on a budget. <laughs> By employing computer-generated analysis to draft his players. This has Jonah Hill, Brad Pitt, Chris Pratt's in it. This is... Uh, Are you really on. blanking on it? This is hardball. No, that's wrong. What? <laughs> Hold on. Mm. Well, I guess I drink, but I just need to know it. This is... Money ball. Money. Money ball. Even I knew money that one. That's money the first ball. One I knew. Hard ball. <laughs> Hard ball. Hard, Hard ball, ball is a that, way that's different that movie. Shitty, like stock show, right? With that guy that yells I, and tells you which stocks to buy and shit. I don't think. So. I don't know. 
don't know. That's mad money. That's mad money. Hardball really is the one. It's in like the Bronx, isn't it? I don't know. It could be. I don't know. Who I don't fucking think there's cares? anything called hardball. <laughs> That was a big fail by Luke. me. Oh, Lucas. Mother and daughter bicker over oh, everything. God. What Anna wears, whom she likes, and what she wants to do when she's older. In turn, <laughs> were you going to say something, Luke? No. Okay. In turn, a grunt. Anna detests Tess's fiance. It was tough. Mm-hmm. When a ma- ma- when a magical <laughs> fortune cookie switches their personalities. They each get a peek at how the other person feels, thinks, and lives. It's Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis and Harold Gould. Don't you shake your head like you don't know this one, Luke? I know it! I can't think of these fucking names! Sweet 16 keeps coming to me, but I know it's not that. Should I type that? No. Do it. It's, um... <laughs> Damn it! I This is so ridiculous. I, I knew Moneyball right this away. Is the ninth, this is the ninth question. We have three answers correct. <laughs> We're doing real bad. Let me just... just. Little Dicky. I know. I was trying to think of a little, little Dicky song then, too. Uh, Don't give him hints, ben. Uh, Chris Brown. We, uh, I hate Chris you Brown. Five seconds. Uh, we switch bodies. Uh, really? It's, it's Freaky Friday. Man, you took way too long for that. I Just know. Take a, I couldn't take a think drink of it. Because that was fresky. I got it. Fresky Friday. I got it. I got it. It was Freaky Friday. You got it. I would have got it because I was thinking of a little Dicky song too. Shame. <laughs> that was that me. Was shame. Shut up. You can come up with fucking Moneyball. At least I said it in like two seconds. Yeah, I said the wrong <laughs> answer. <laughs> Ben, as the Iranian revolution reaches a boiling point, a CIA exfiltration specialist concocts a risky plan to free six Americans who have found shelter at the home of the Canadian ambassador. Ben Affleck. What? Ben Affleck, Brian Cranston, Alan Arkin, John Goodman. I'm just... I just haven't seen movies. (laughs) Any. (laughs) Well... It's all right. I'm just, we're going to save us all the time. And I'm okay. going to start drinking. Some drink. I've, I, I think I know it. Luke, do you know this one? I do, but I can't. Again, I can't think of the title. This is mine. Uh, when Larcenous. Nailed it. What? Is that a word? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Larceny. Huh? Grand okay. Larceny. When Larceny. I just never heard it in that. Wait, uh, like a larcenous real estate clerk Marion Crane goes on the lam with a wad of cash and hopes of starting a new life. She ends up at the notorious Bates Motel. Ah, the Bates Motel. <laughs> um, so American Psycho. I'm yeah, American. Psycho. Well, (laughs) I'm pretty sure it's just Psycho. (laughs) Is it really? (laughs) God damn it. American American Psycho. Psycho? Is that the Christian Bale Bale one? Yeah, it's Christian Bale. Yeah, Yeah, right. Well, fuck it. Next, I drink. (laughs) (laughs) Four on it? All right, Luke. Vampire Count Orlock is interested in a new residence and and in his real estate agent's young wife, F.M. Murnau's uh, unauthorized adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, Shrek is in it. <laughs> yep, Max Shrek, Gustav von Wagenheim, and mm-hmm. Greta Schroeder. Sounds German AF. A Dracula story. A Dracula story where he's looking at moving and he's l- interested in his real estate agent's wife. Oh. 
I know this isn't it, but I'm just going to say interview with a vampire. Because I, <laughs> I don't know what it is. What's happening? You can't spell interview. <laughs> I-E. I-E-W. Vampire. Vampire. <laughs> Man, we did really good at this quiz. <laughs> All right. Well, that was it. <laughs> that was it. Like, oh, congratulations. Out of hit, wait, hit, give up, hit give up so we can see the fucking shit that we did. Do I have a give up? Yeah, it's under the time. Right under the time. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Um, <sighs> okay, so number one. Was Memento. Okay. Memento, yeah. I, I, that's the one I thought. Um, what was number four? Do you remember? Yeah, hold on. That was also me. The uh, Right. The... Was, oh, Animal House. Oh, Animal House? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Now number six. That's... There will be blood. There will be blood. There God will damn it. be. I knew blood was in the title. I couldn't go on with it. Number what seven, the fuck I don't is think this? any of us know. Ventriloquist. Magic. Oh, magic, of course. Nope, never heard of it. Never heard of that. Number eight. This is obviously Moneyball. <laughs> Moneyball. Hardball. Hardball. Also known as Hardball. I think this is Argo? Argo sounds right. Yeah, 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 Argo. yeah. yeah. Armor, 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 armor. What's the one where they're trying to make a movie? They they sneak into the Psycho? country under the guise of making a movie? I don't remember. Tropic Thunder? No. <laughs> <laughs> They're rescuing people. Isn't that... Nosferatu is the dragon. Nosferatu. So, great well, job, we suck. everybody. Thank you much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Argo, that's it, yeah. Under the cover of a Hollywood producer scouting location for a science fiction film. CIA agent launches a dangerous operation to rescue six Americans. Yeah, so they, they sneak into the country like... Like, we're here to make a movie. But then they're actually there to rescue. I've never actually seen it. Really? It's a really good movie. I just know of it. Okay. That's good. Um, well, that was an embarrassing quiz that I think we should all just take a shot for. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, average score was 81%. Uh, we what got did we 20. get? We and also just play the we didn't go thing. through. <laughs> so, probably Bad less job. than that. Very bad. How are we... How are we running a pop culture podcast? <laughs> well, that's a great question. We're never going to do that quiz again. That's how. <laughs> that's how. What about number one? That was number two. I'm doing Fireball this time. I'm doing Jameson and <laughs> Bailey's. Today I learned Rum Chata makes you forget movie titles. Well, that's bad for you. Because next up... <laughs> is critically ashamed. All right, we're going to go to a random movie generator, everybody. And we're going to have three random movies generated, if you can believe it. And our Randomly. guest is going to... We're going we're gonna to pick a movie out of these three movies in order. So the first person gets a choice of three, second person gets the two... Last person gets the leftover, and then we have to guess what they got on Rotten Tomatoes, according to the audience. If you're within 10%, you give two. If you're outside of 10%, you take two. If the critics rate higher, you take one more. Mm -hmm. If you're if you get it right on, on, you give a shot. You can give a shot, which we definitely need. <laughs> um, Luke, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. movie knowledge. So right. we'll do three rounds so everybody gets a chance at picking first. Um, and Ben, since you are our guest, you're going you're gonna to be first. A little special guest. I'm so special. This is not a movie, um, but we're going to randomize these. So your uh, the three <laughs> random movies we have is X. Just the letter X. Just the letter X, huh? No. Yeah. Ever that came out not too X? not too long ago. That's a fairly recent movie. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Noel with uh, Bill Hader Anna Kendrick. And Anna Kendrick. That's Sorry. pretty recent as well. Christmas mm -hmm. movie a couple of years ago. 
Mm-hmm. Or the Pelican Brief. This has uh, <laughs> Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington, I believe. That's right. Uh, which one of those three movies do you want, Ben? God, I think I'm going to go with the Noel. The mm-hmm. Noel. Christmas one. I feel like that'll that'll be the easiest to guess where it lands. Yeah. To me. Okay, right. Okay, 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 okay. All right, Luke. Which one do you want out of X and the Pelican Brief? I'm going to take the Pelican Brief because I don't know much about X. And I know you don't. So. <laughs> That's correct. I do not. All right. Well, I have X then. Ben... What do you think Noel got via the, or according to the audience? I'm going to give it a solid 69. Mm. Nice. That's a nice score. And also, I think it probably did better than that. Yeah. It was a 58. Oh, oh my goodness. 58. Oh, darn. You were one off from. <laughs> Being within 10%, too. Really? I thought it was fine. I thought it was a fine movie. I would have given it, like, mid-70s. It's like Christmas movies. They just never score that well. Yeah. Also, I have a soft spot for Anna Kay, so... That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, Where's that soft spot? Look. uh, Not down where you think it is. I've got a hard spot down there. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay. Not always. I, I was asking for it. I'm sorry. <laughs> you did. So Ben, you're gonna have to take two drinks. You bet. You do not have to take one for the critics. All right. All right, Luke. Pelican, Pelican brief. brief. I feel like that was well loved. <clears throat> it's very good. I'm gonna get a give it an 85. Not that good. Oh. 93. It got a 61. Wow. Look at that. Hot! You gave that an 85? I, I've i actually never seen it. I just know that it was... Uh, I, I thought it was, was well-loved. You'd also yeah. think that just Julia Roberts and Denzel. Denzel? And, right. Really wow. 90s. Like, that was 61? Prime. Well, fuck my ass. I'll do yeah, it. why don't you take a drink there? Uh, or two. And then <laughs> let me guess... The movie X. The movie X. I don't know what that's about. Uh, X got 67. 67. 67. And I can't spell this one wrong. (laughs) I love you. You hit Z. Ah, fuck. Just hit enter. Is that on here? Oh, no, here. (laughs) What? No! Nah. Oh my god! I knew it did well. I no. knew it did well. Seventy-five. Oh, Jenna Ortega. Okay. Well, you, you're good on the audience score. Almost. You're right, within yeah. ten. So I, I said sixty-eight. No, you sixty-seven. S- so 67. I'm within ten percent. You are within ten percent, but you have to take but one for the critics. On the critics. So let's do a social. So I'm sh- one to each of you. I did not realize uh, this was that new. I told you. Hmm. Well, you said recently. You didn't say like a couple <laughs> months ago. <laughs> it was not months. All right. Was it that was the first round? Okay. Round one. Now, Ben, you're picking. You're getting stuck with the last one. Luke is picking first. <laughs> All right. Luke is picking between Brooklyn's Finest. Nope. Machete Kills. Oh, okay. And Eastern Promises. What a great lineup we have here. Shit. Fuck. I don't know how any of these did. Um, All you have to do is pick one. I'm going to go Eastern Promises, I guess. You can't get it wrong yet. Eastern Promises? I'm going to go with Noel. <laughs> oh, no, he got it wrong. Yes, Eastern Promises. All right. Ben, I'm going to stick you with uh, Machete Kills. Perfect. That's what I wanted anyway. <laughs> with Danny. I think it was Danny Trejo. It looked like Danny Trejo. Yeah, it's and Danny, I have Danny Trejo. Movie. 
at Brooklyn's finest. Okay. All right, Luke. What do you think Eastern Promises got? I want to say Eastern Promises got like a low 70s. I'm going to go like 72 on it. 72. Hopefully. Oh, Vigo Mortensen. Yep. Naomi Watts. 83. Right outside that 10%. Nice. And the critics rated it higher. You drink three, my good sir. Man, really nailed that round, didn't I? Nice. Terrible. You should be ashamed. Fuck! All right, let's see if I should be ashamed. Um, Brooklyn's finest. Seventy-two. Oh, copycat! Ooh, copycat! Is that what you said? Yeah. Well, this time it's right. No. Forty-six. Forty-six wow. percent. So I'm. That is not good. good. The critics did not rate it higher. The critics did not rate it higher. So I take two drinks. Hi, Boba. All right. Well, has anybody seen any of these movies? No. I can't remember. No, I was trying to think if I'd seen Eastern Promises, but I think what I'm thinking of is the other. Uh, Western. Uh, Western. Western. Promises. Western. Promises. Western, uh, Western Secrets. I think I don't know if it was Machete Kills or Machete Kills, but I saw a Danny Trejo movie that was like all about him, like wreaking havoc on everybody. It sucked. You're probably just thinking of the short um, from like, um, there was a short (laughs) like before. I can't remember if it it was before one of Quentin Tarantino's movies. He put out a bunch of like you know fake trailers. And that's where mm-hmm. Machete came from, and it was like a little short mm. trailer of Danny Trejo just slicing people up. But. Yeah, I'm gonna say. I mean, Dan, everyone likes Danny Trejo as a person, mm-hmm. but his movies aren't good. I'm gonna give it a 38. Wow. All right. Well, that that seems right. Going low. Going, going really low. low. Kills 2013. I'm okay, so this is like a. <laughs> The sequel. Ver- Vergara? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this was a sequel. Oh, you were 30, close. 34. Okay. okay. Pretty good. You get Way two. to go low. Uh, I'm going to give one to each of you. All right. All right. Cheers. Oops, sorry. And I'll just join in on that. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> hey, you might, might as, as well. well. All right. One more round. You guys ready? One more round. Born ready. Out of How to Eat Fried Worms. <laughs> I don't know I that. Remember, I remember this title from like when I was a kid, but I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah. So How to Eat Fried Worms. Project Power is a Netflix uh, flick with Jamie Foxx and George, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. JGL? I never even heard of it. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, I have it. It's one where they take a pill. Okay. That's I remember right. That. I remember that one. I, I've watched that. So Project Power, How to Eat Fried Worms, or The Pursuit of Happiness. I will be taking The Pursuit, the pursuit of, happiness. of Happiness. That one. <laughs> Fuck you. And then Ben's uh, second? Ben gets second. Project Power or uh, How to Eat Fried Worms. Well, The Pursuit of Happiness is the only one I have seen. Perfect. So I... I'm going to have to leave Luke with the best one, How to Eat Fried Worms. Yeah. I'm going to go with Project Power for myself. All right. Luke, are you happy about that? I love it. (laughs) Perfect. All right. So the pursuit of happiness, I think. I mean, he won an Oscar for this, right? Or he was nominated. He was at least nominated. Yeah, I don't know if he won or not. Um, I think it got a solid 90. It's a whole part of the movie. Oh, it's Ooh. close. You were close, though. It was a close one. And the critics and the, critics uh, gave critics. it a 67, huh? That's incredible, actually. Mm-hmm. I thought it would have got right. way more critical acclaim than that. It's a good movie. Makes you cry. 
It's Fuck the good. critics, you know. Well, they it's know. Pretty good. All right. Well, I'm giving uh, two to Ben. No. Thanks for thanks for. He being was there. already he was already <laughs> taking them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, how do you? Wait, how do you? <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, it was. Uh, what did I have? Project Power. Mm. A Netflix film. Pretty recent. Netflix. 19, maybe. Film. Newer. 20. That's right. A pill that gives you superpowers or something? Or? Yeah. Pretty much. But you don't know what superpowers <laughs> are going to come out of this pill. It's like a random pill, right? Okay. Something to explode. I'm going to give it a 71. That sounds about right, to be honest. I feel that's pretty. that's pretty safe bet. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the 50s, though. <laughs> I wouldn't right. be surprised either direction, I think. I'll be surprised if it's higher. Okay, 40s. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Ben's drinking three. I drink three. A perfect three. three. A perfect three. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Out All right, Luke. Yeah, that does hurt, but that's... Cool. How t- so, I'm so confused on how to go with this, because I, it's obviously mm-hmm. a kid's movie. And I don't know if it was, like, if the kids fucking love this movie or if it was a dumb piece of shit. Who are the critics? (laughs) Kids, tell me how you felt about fried, how to fry a worm or whatever the fuck it's called. How to fry a worm in 10 days. (laughs) Kids loved it. The kids loved it. The kids loved it. All right. Well, let's give it a 99. No. Um, How to eat fried worms, Luke. give... How to eat fried worms? A nice big old seventy-eight. Wow, generous! <laughs> I thought so too. I don't fucking um, know. Oh, that was from two thousand six only. Oh, what is seventy-eight? Get how on. how would you eat fried worms? Look, I wouldn't. I would refuse. <laughs> but they're fried. 47! Forty-seven. And the yeah, rate. you were super generous. But hey, a perfect three again. A perfect three. Is it possible Look at us. to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. Not from a Jedi. Well, what a great time. It was a good we, time. We sucked at all the games. We that are sucked. bad at living. Uh, thank God for us uh, that the next one is not a, is not a game. Yeah. TGF us. To, we just have to give our opinions because it's by Borrow Barry. <laughs> by Borrow Barry is our rendition <laughs> of Fuck Mary Kill. <laughs> so, this week's By Borrow Barry, or this episode's, is Mighty Ducks. Quack. The Quack. Sandlot. Quack. 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 Sorry, go on. The Mighty Ducks, The Sandlot, and Little Giants. All s- little kid sports movies. We got yeah. baseball, football, from, and hockey. I think from all of our childhoods, they were all like early mm-hmm. 90s ones, right? That's right. Mm-hmm. I watched all these multiple times, and I'm still not sure what to do with them. Yeah, this one's going to be tough. I'd- Who wants to go first? Not it. I'll take I'll the. I'll okay, take the, Ben will go first. I take like one that. for the team. I like the initiative. So, there's three great sports movies mm-hmm. for children mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and adults. You don't and have to be a child to like them. <laughs> That's right. I. We we kind of brought this up. Over at our, our tweet weekend, just with uh, another movie subbed out for Little Giants there. And when it was those three, I, I kind of knew exactly what it would be for me. But now, mm-hmm. it makes it a little tricky. A little, little bit more tricky. Yeah, right away we had Space Jam in there, and that was a uh, pretty... That's a slam dunk. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a slam dunk. So, for me, we that, was space, for that was a buy. That was a Space Jam. You were a little bi? I'm a little bi. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> good. All right. Breaking news? <laughs> no, that's the one I would have bought. But now, oh, yeah. I, think, I 
think I gotta buy Sandlot. He's buying Sandlot. That's probably the one I watched the most growing up. You're killing me, Smalls. So I got more nostalgia factor in that. Mm -hmm. But now as far as Bar on Barry, that's tough. I, I don't it's, it's the coin toss, I think. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. I think it's a coin toss between the between the ducks and the giants. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if you if you borrow it, you also borrow all the sequels and stuff, right? In the, or just I, I just like, like the original. This, it's just going to be the the very first movie. The very first right. boys. <laughs> right. The very first movie. So because there's way more Mighty Ducks two. than there were. There, was there even a sequel to Little Giants? There's no sequel to so. Little Giants. Yeah, so you can't put and up. That's the what, yeah, that's why I would have borrowed. But, but no, I think I think I'm gonna borrow the ducks, it's bury the giants. Oof. Mm. Oof. Yeah, buried. You hate to see that's that. Bury them, little boys. <laughs> All right. Okay. All, All right. right. I don't know you talk about your pastime, but no children were harmed in the making of this. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, how about you? Shit, or do you dude. want me to go? No, I'll go. I'll go. Good. Good. So this one is tough. Yeah. Um, I did like the Mighty Ducks a lot, but it was probably the one I watched the least because I never connected with hockey. Mm-hmm. But I love like the flying V and all their stupid trick plays and shit that they did. But I think I have to bury the Mighty Ducks. To bury the Mighty Ducks. Starting with burial. Um, But boy, did I watch a lot of Sandlot and Little Giants. Probably Little Giants more. Because I had a crush on the girl in Little Giants. Nice. Icebox. Icebox. She was such a little cutie. And it's not... It's not wrong because I was nine or whatever when she was nine or whatever. (laughs) Or early (laughs) teens. It's fine. (laughs) Just be careful. (laughs) I still remember the scene where they're in the shopping mm, grocery store. That's what it's called. They're in the grocery store. store. (laughs) I was going to say shopping mall, but it wasn't that. Yeah, and he's throwing throwing the toilet paper. Into the cart because yeah, the wide receiver can only catch toilet paper and not footballs. Right, right. He has to. He has to imagine the football as a toilet paper roll. And mm-hmm. God damn it, I love that movie so much. So you know what? I'm going to buy Little Giants, and I am going to borrow Sandlot. Made it easy for yourself. But Sandlot was also just. Oh, it's it's like it's so good. It's so so good. good because you always growing up you wanted to be that kid. You know, if you ever imagine yourself. Being moved to a new city and like finding a new set of friends just like that, just oh, immediately fitting into the sandlot. Oh, this is a dream mm-hmm. come true. But uh Yeah, that's the way I'm going with it. All right. Well <clears throat> so so the sandlot, if you remember in the beginning of the movie, the new the main character, I can't remember his name, but if you look at his baseball hat in the beginning, the bill is like so Eight feet long. long. <laughs> so it's incredibly long. long. It's hilarious. <laughs> so that gives it points there. Obviously, uh, obviously. <laughs> points, for, long points bill. for a long bill. Longer. But did he keep the dumb fucking sticker on top? He didn't. Hey, that's cool. No, it's no. Cool. Only if the bill is flat, you keep it <laughs> on. So anyway, so and that movie kind of evolves from just a baseball movie into like a like you know they're trying to get the ball from over the fence so they got the catapults and and all those fucking contraptions and it's awesome in the big tree yeah. house oh yeah awesome yeah dude big tree house yeah and the whole the the plot oh, with the, them loving the the uh, lifeguard at the pool and oh yeah <laughs> and one of them fakes drowning so he can kiss her like ooh whoops that's canceled. Yeah. He's canceled. That movie, that <laughs> canceled. movie had it all. <laughs> uh, so, and I've I've seen that a lot. Little Giants. I'm with you, Luke. I've seen the most Little Giants. Um, fucking Rick Moranis is in it too. Fucking Rick Moranis, uh, the guy from <laughs> Honey, Love I Shrunk the Kids, and oh yeah, yeah, Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill is in it. Yeah, and it's just a great and and you know they have like a like a girl main character tr- playing football. It was like. You know, progressive and and great. Mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
So I'm going to buy Little Giants. Now the Mighty Ducks. It's got fucking Emilio! <laughs> Emilio That's Estevez. That's right. The Bash right. Brothers. This is the hardest thing. Uh, Mighty Ducks <laughs> versus the Sandlot. I've seen Mighty Ducks more. The Sandlot is great. Oh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna borrow Mighty Ducks and Barry oh, Sandlot. Oh, he's burying Sandlot. Okay. Oh wow! My God. I didn't think we'd see that one go under, but uh, I didn't either. Fuck. I'd be curious to see how they all rated against each other. Should we look that up? We should probably look that up. We should Let's look, look up. that up. <laughs> Let's look all that right, up. So I think. Um, should we guess? Oh, oh, we got to guess. Who came out of it? You yeah. Know, we're, we're coming up on an hour right now. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> All we've got is recent news and homework. We can so, buzz on through so that. Might, Mighty Ducks. What do you, what do you guys think? Oh, oh, God. All these early 90s kids movies, I think like it, it was a miracle if they got above 70. Well, were they bops or just bops to us? You know? Right. I think, right. <laughs> I think the Mighty Ducks got low 80. I think it's got an 81. Okay. I'm going to give it a 71. I'm going to go in the middle. I'll give it a 77. <laughs> All right. 65. Okay. So it was low. Luke, give a drink. To my boy Phil. <laughs> you know. Lifting the can. To my co-host. All right. Little Giants. God, I, I think this one didn't do as well. Gigantes. I'm gonna I give. Think it, go, ahead. go for it. No, you go ahead. And are we guessing critic or audience? Audience. Audience. Okay. Sixty-nine. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna go sixty-one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go sixty. <gasps> he lowballed me. Price, Price is right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-three, he got oh, it. Oh, I got what? it. it worked. I almost <laughs> went sixty-two. I went sixty-one. <laughs> That's right. Take another one, Phil. Be a bitch. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and the next one, the Sandlot. Sandlot, I can see that one. I feel a little like better. did the best in my mind. I'm my mind is time. deeply damaged. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm giving it a 77 again. But this one's real. This one's right. This one's right. Fuck it. I'm highballing it. 78. Ooh. Ooh. You, bitch. I said 73, right? Yeah. Yep. 89. Yeah. Oh, my. 89. I didn't see that coming. I was like, holy buckets. That one's so well loved. 89%, man. And guess what? That's another drink for Phil. All right. I'm going to join in just because I feel like actually that. Yeah, that's a social. That's a social. (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Ben. How how irresponsible of me to forget. Yeah, I'm a thirsty boy, Luke. I know you're a thirsty growing boy. Quench me. Who needs his alcohol to grow. (laughs) As one does. (laughs) Well, that was by Barberry. We all went a separate uh, our separate directions. We did. Yeah, uh, all great movies. I, w- I really? would like to watch all three of these right now. We should have a <laughs> a little boy movie marathon. <laughs> right, that's right. and that's little what we'll call it. We'll marathon. make a t-shirts out of it. <laughs> cool, <laughs> our, our little boy <laughs> movie marathon. And we're gonna. And our next segment is we're watching these three movies back to back. Here we are. Here they are now. Bill, you want to share your screen? <laughs> we'll just tune in. Um. All right. Recent news. Does anybody have anything they're excited about, or anything they heard in the news that they want to talk about? I have a few things. I'm gonna Say start talking about them. Yeah, you start Luke, talking you about thinking. It. Was that your thinking? <laughs> was that your thinking? <laughs> he thinks harder spot. than he poops, folks. <laughs> I know, I do, I do. Well, right off the bat, we've been talking about it on the last couple of, uh, you know, in the previous uh, episodes. E3's canceled. 
If you've canceled, you know, people, kept, people kept dropping out. And it's, well, here's it's the canceled. deal. Mm-hmm. What, big, whoops. big whoops. <laughs> no, right. it's big whoops. Big whoops. Big whoops. I, I do feel that way too, but I'm also sad about it because it was always like, it was this fun thing to look forward to every year. But now that every console has got its own little showcase thing that they do every so often, it's like, yeah, it's just not needed anymore. Not needed. Yeah. So, yeah, I think <laughs> we're all in agreement. Good. Good, fine. <laughs> Good. Get, get out of here. The world is a changing. Uh, another thing that I want to talk about is Disney has announced that a live action reimagining of Moana is in development, which will star Dwayne Johnson. And oh. Luke is already shaking his head. I, get him. out. I get think, out. I think it's stupid. I, it's, get. Like, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, uh, cool. They're making like, like, why did they go from remaking the 90s Disney shows to all of a sudden, like, mm-hmm. we're going to remake the one we just made three years ago? Because it was a banger, Luke. Right. And they're just they're just cash the cowing things. it. They're like, it's not needed yet. Like, give it some it's years. True. Give it some years. They don't to need to. Disney doesn't need to give it anything. They need <laughs> to give it a, also, a live action replay. That's what they need. Right? Also, <laughs> in development means, like, they could just be starting it. It could be years from now. Right. It's not going to be like seven years from now. It's going to be like two or three, maybe. But it's not the end. Yeah, this isn't the Elder Scrolls 6. six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. Speaking of recent news, recent news, that's what I'm looking forward to. Come on, let's get some Elder Scrolls 6 news up in here. All right. I'll give you one better. No, I won't. Uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, Martin yeah. Scorsese's uh, latest Leonardo DiCaprio film. Mm-hmm. With mm-hmm. also Robert De Niro and Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. Star know. studded. It there's reports that it uh is nearly four hours long. Mm-hmm. That's Fuck. a slog. That is a slog. But hopefully it's really good. Now, do you think a four hour movie is necessary? Never. No. Do you think he could have just like made Killers of the Flower Moon one and two? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could have. He definitely could have. But then could have and like doubled the box office money out of it, you know, for the same amount of production time. But I think he's just but, old and he's like, fuck it, let's release a four hour fucking movie. Is right. that gonna be one of those movies with an intermission? You know? <laughs> right. Could they be. Gonna turn the lights on. Four hours. People are gonna go I out for yeah. that. breaks and stuff. Right, four, four hours is so long. It's a long time. Yeah. To just sit there and watch. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I could I could sit and watch like three different movies in a row. Mm-hmm. But I can't watch one movie for four <laughs> well, hours. That's crazy. <laughs> right. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can, I watch, can binge I can 20 watch a episodes. Whole season of yeah. something. <laughs> but ask me to watch a, a four hour movie. movie. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 well, that's, that's good, though. Uh, yeah, those are, those are my I news. I uh, like those news. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ben I've got a couple. I don't know if Luke has any yet. No, you but, go ahead. Uh, you go ahead. I'm looking at my calendar like your, and your see Google if Google alert. Google alerting. Google alerting. The Google alert. 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 Um, I got a couple tids of bits. Okay. Ooh, tids of First bits. one, Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. You guys hear this one? Oh yeah. Uh, HBO. They are going to so. HBO is going to be making seasons for each book. Mm-hmm. Right. So. so Seven seasons or so. Seven seasons, essentially. Seven Which, seasons? like, <laughs> cool, I guess. Still a little too early in my mind, but also a season, early. A season per book. But, like... This is 20 book, years ago. I know, but book one is, like, this big. <laughs> book five is, like, this big. Like, why does it? Why does each book need a season? Well, you know, what, what, who little... knows what each season is going to be? Maybe <laughs> yeah. season one will be six episodes and season five will be. I mean, 10? maybe, yeah, if they split it up like you know? that, sure. Who knows? Anyway, mm-hmm. it's Harry yeah. Potter. Everyone likes Harry Potter. I, Get yeah, the hell out I, of here, Luke. Yeah, I, <laughs> the hell out, out of here. here. This is a new segment called Get Out of Here. <laughs> Get out of here. We just yell, Luke. That's fair. Get out of here. I did no, think I, of one. No, go ahead, Phil. I. I th- I do think, you know, I'm still doing Harry Potter marathons like yearly, and they hold up. And every time, I, I think a TV show. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I can't think, I think of be Daniel Rad. Anybody be great. but Daniel. 
as yeah, all right. As hair, you know? Those are large f- shoes See, to and, fill. With yeah, those three there's always that. Characters. But it'll be fine. Probably. I think. Yeah, HBO knows what they're doing. Right, HBO does a good job all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, uh, but my other bit of tids. Oh yeah. You can't bring me on the show without having Elden Ring brought up. <laughs> oh, so, yes. About a month ago, they announced the DLC, mm. Shadow of the Earn Tree. And uh, just got to say, my nads are pumped. Oh. They're pumped. Super pumped. So pumped, dude. I'm pumped. Too. That's right. Yeah, we've Pump been going loop. hard on Elden Ring again. We created new characters. I put. I can't put it down. There's already. Can't put the game down. A week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh no, I'm I'm excited too, man. Um that's gonna be amazing. That's gonna I come out guess. when Elden Ring six comes out. Nope. Elder Good job, Scrolls. but no Elder Scrolls. That's one. Nope. It'll come out late twenty three. Probably early twenty four. That's yeah. what I'm most upset about is like I want right. to announce it when it's coming out next month. Yeah. They want uh they should only announce Metal things Gear when they have a date. Five or four right. to come out first. Because they don't want to bury that under Elden Ring, which they'd it's know would happen. Them. Good on the good, good on good them. on them. Good on them. But bad uh, on them. The uh, only yeah, bit of news that's that, my excitement. Yeah. New- the only bit of news that I can think of is uh Horizon Forbidden West has a DLC coming out as well the burning shores um mm. that's they put out a video um just recently showing off <clears throat> a flying uh creature that can also dive into the water and then you're fucking swimming in the water too and like ah shit dude so that's coming out like, April oh, 19th, shit, but that's gonna be great i i love i love the horizon games there uh now you've okay. you, yeah you played how many are there two yeah two. there's just two so there's all, one, and it's and DLC. The VR. Yep, and then there's the VR. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I've been playing that a little bit because I got the VR too. Um, nice. Yeah, I've not had the pleasure of playing a Horizon game, but I, I want to mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. badly, mm-hmm. but not bad enough to go buy a PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Zero Dawn is on PC. Um, Forbidden West is not. Yeah, uh, I'm well, sure that's coming yeah, soonish. But I've also yeah. seen PlayStation PC ports are always very disappointing. Oh yeah, The Last of Us came out with the port. Last of Us had Zero Dawn, I think, was pretty <laughs> disappointing. Some buggies. Okay. No, there's another game. I can't remember which one. A lot of, a lot of buggies the port going to on. PC also bad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but that's that's recent. that's news. That's the news. Yeah. You heard it here. You you heard it you heard it at other places first, but now you've also heard it here. Well, now you've also heard it, heard it again <laughs> right now. Next up, we have homework, Luke. Did you do your homework? Do you remember the homework? No, I don't either. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> Whoops. How about this? Let's get let's get more homework going. Let's get no here. homework. You know what? I no, still no. haven't watched. Have you watched Willow? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Was that homework once? Well, that was yeah, that was a uh, Michael Tweeton homework uh, that we haven't <clears> got to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so why don't we just give out recommendations? Good. I like that. Uh, and then we'll them. see if we remember you? our recommendations next episode. <laughs> Spoilers, we won't. <laughs> I have a recommendation for you. Okay. Watch the whale with the Brian whale. Fraser. He, yep. he got the Oscar sure. for Best Actor. I don't know where it's streaming. I don't think it is. Uh, uh, Ethan bought the film. We watched it. Me and Ethan together. From down the hall. Ethan from down the hall. Mm-hmm. We have a blanket fort going on downstairs. We're 30, I know. <laughs> We're 30. But it's a big blanket fort. You're almost 30 year old. You're over 30. Boy old, things. Basically. You're over 30. We're basically built through. But we were um, <laughs> sitting there watching this movie, and we were just... <clears throat> weeping mm-hmm. together it was a bonding moment did you hold Bears. each other at any at any point in time we were on separate couches we mm. ma- made sure that was the thing mm. <laughs> okay okay but uh yeah it's a very very good movie very sad watch it and okay. have fun 
I I fully or, or intend to and have fun and cry. Right. Is it fun? Okay. Or just no. Uh, there's fun moments. There's fun, fun times. moments. And I mean, it's got I do the, really uh, want to watch that as well. Yeah. So I will take that recommendation, not to heart, because we all know we don't we're not going to. Uh, we don't have hearts here. His daughter is the uh, the redheaded girl from Stranger Things, right? Yep, Sadie Sink okay. is his daughter. Sadie Sink, right. And, uh, yeah, it, and it's, it's basically one of those movies shot in one place, right? It's his apartment. Um, It's... It's beautifully done. I think I think it's a really good uh, movie. Yeah. So watch it. All right. Beautiful. I'll watch it. Recommended. <laughs> Recommended. Um, Any other recommendations? I feel like I've done this before, but I'm going to do it again because, uh, Ben, you said you hadn't seen it. it was Memento. Mm. Mm. The movie that we had in our <laughs> trivia. I believe I believe that one's on Netflix. I don't have that anymore. I believe you can rent that out of a red box. Um, Hulu, which I do not. <laughs> it's on Prime. Awesome. It's on Prime. There you go. There we go. Yeah, you should watch that. It's a great movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Ben, do you have any recommendations for us? No. Okay. No. I do. I do have one. I do Ooh. have one for you boys. Tricky. Okay. My recommendation, and I recommended this to Phil like a year ago, and he never did it. Ooh. Your Lie in April. Your an anime in series. April. It's April. So, it's so April? I, I, <laughs> it is April. I did watch uh, like three episodes. That's and it? Pianist and this... Yeah, every yeah. It's that a, it, that show yeah. made me cry. Mm-hmm. At like every damn episode. But it's only one season, right? It's only one season, and the episode's yeah. like twenty minutes. I'll watch. I'll rewatch that. You'll watch three more episodes. And then I'll, I'll forget about it again, and then I'll watch more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll continue watching it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um. Okay. Well, we have our recommendations. We have them. Slash homework. Nope, not homework because I didn't do. We'll I didn't never do it. I didn't do homework in high school either. So <laughs> that's true. How fitting. Big whoops. We made it through <laughs> school somehow. <laughs> well, that was that was it, boys. I'm so glad that you got to join us, Ben. Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining us, Benjamin. Thank and you thank- for joining me. <laughs> oh. The tables have turned. <laughs> oh my god! Is, wait, is this his podcast? Are we? Oh, ah, shit! And now Ben gets to do the outro. What are you? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching at home. You can comment on the video down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you know, give us your shots of the week. Give us your segment ideas. Like, comment, and subscribe. And smash uh, that bell. Smash it. Um, and uh, go visit our socials. Our socials. You know, we have Which are... YouTube. We er, <laughs> obviously. Right we here. have. Uh, oh, there they are. Instagram. Whoop. Put them in there. Oh. This it's in the shirt. Oh, oh, there they are. Magic. Magic. We have, we have Instagram. <laughs> we have TikTok. Gen Zers out there, we got yeah. Come on, Gen Zer, watch our TikToks. They're hilarious. We got a, a sub. We, we got Twitter. What? what? Oh, oh, there's two of them oh. now. What's going? On? Whoa! <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh, he did eat it. I hate That's going to be tough to do. I don't too know. Bad. <laughs> to figure that one out all right well thank you everyone for <laughs> now they just splashed on the screen in front of everyone <laughs> thank you for that thank one. you everyone for joining us today and i love you all goodbye love you bye bye